Hello and welcome everyone. This is Sean with Clay's Image Productions and today's tutorial I'm going to be going over taking the video files we created in the previous tutorial and embedding those into an HTML5 web page. Um, so if you haven't watched that previous tutorial yet, go ahead and watch that one first and then uh, come back and watch this one. If you don't have this program already, I'd recommend downloading it, Notepad++. Uh, you can go to notepad-plus-plus.org and that's the uh, program I'll be using to actually create our HTML5 uh, web page today. Um, the reason I'm using this is because it's free for one thing so everybody can use it and uh, it does a really good job. It's sort of like Notepad on steroids. It can actually understand HTML code and JavaScript and that sort of thing and uh, kind of help you to format it in that way. So um, you'll also probably notice I have a new folder in here called images with this picture of a butterfly in here and I'll be going over that in a little bit. Um, we're going to use that as sort of like a poster frame for our video. Uh, so here is the Notepad++ file. I'm just going to use a start a new blank document here. And when creating an HTML5 web page, um, at the top you need to put doc type HTML, just like that explanation point, doc type HTML inside of a tag, and that basically tells the web page that it's an HTML5 uh, web web page. Um, older versions of HTML you had to type out a whole lot more stuff than this, uh, but with the newer versions, uh, it's with HTML5, I should say, it's uh, very simple. This is all you got to type. Um, now we want to declare HTML tags here so that the uh, browser knows that that's what we're working with. And then our head tag. And we'll go ahead and put our title in here as well. It's basically the name of our web page. We'll call it H HTML5 video. Oh. There we go. Doesn't really matter what you call that. Um, and then down here, we'll put our body and close the body tag. Okay. And let's go ahead and save this. I'm just going to save it into the same folder as our HTML5 video uh, files here. And I'll call it uh, index.html. And if you're not familiar, index.html is basically the default HTML page. If you put that at the root of your website, that's the first page that the browser is going to load when, it, uh, when somebody navigates to the page. So when we're doing HTML5 video, all we have to really do for it, uh, to embed a, a video file in here is use the video tag, which is just video and slash video. Um, that is the tag for HTML5 video. So it's very simple, just like a lot of other tags have been in the past for other HTML items. Um, you just basically put it right in there. You don't have to have like a third party player or anything like that. So that's kind of the nice thing about HTML5 video. It's actually much simpler than older versions. Um, <clears throat> so within our video tag here, we need to tell it what video we're going to be using. So we need to put our source. Uh, so you type in source. SRC equals, you may recognize that from image SRC, um, which is used in older versions of HTML. And we're going to do butterfly.mp4 and slash, and that way it just knows that we're just closing this all at the same time. So let's go ahead and save that, and we'll just try running this in Chrome and see what happens. So our video actually does show up, but unfortunately it's not playing, and we have no way of making it play. And the reason being is we don't have any controls. One of the neat things about HTML5 though is you can add attributes right into your video tag here. So we can actually put one of the attributes we can use is controls. And we can just type that in, go ahead and save it and run again in Chrome. And so now if you notice it puts this bar down at the bottom so we have a play pause button here. We have a uh, scrub bar and we also have volume control, full screen and the uh, time is listed in there as well. Um, so that's kind of a neat thing with HTML5 video. That's really all we absolutely have to have to get it to play in quite a few different players. Now of course um, we've, we've been using Chrome and some other uh, browsers don't actually use uh, the MPEG4 video file type. So let's go ahead and add in our other video files here. Um, the WebM is generally the second one uh, that I would recommend using, and then the OGG one, save for the for last because it's used by 
mostly older um, web browsers, so uh, the other two will probably be the more common ones to be used. So that's really all we would absolutely have to put in in order for our three different video file types to be able to be played back. And what's going to happen is when the web browser comes to the video tag, it's going to look at the first one and say, can I play an MPEG-4 file? If not, let's go to the second one. Can I play a WebM? If not, let's go to the third one. So it doesn't actually create three different videos on, on your page. It's just one since it's all within this video tag. Um, if you wanted to create another player later on the page, you just need to create a new video tag. Um, but let's explore this a little bit more because some browsers do have some trouble. So uh, one of the good things to put in here after your video uh, source is the type. And you just type in type equals video slash mp4. And actually I should just use the single quotation marks for this one. And same thing with the WebM file type equals video slash webm and then on the OGG type equals and you probably guessed video slash OGG and basically all that's doing is helping the browser to know what it is that it's playing back you can also come in here if you want to be even more specific and like after putting OGG we can put codex uh, equals and then a double quotation and for the OGG video, it's uh, Theora and comma Vorbis, and I think I mispronounced Theora on the last video. I was adding a D in there that didn't exist. So uh, anyway, you can put in, um, sorry, that should be Codex with an S, um, and then you can put in the Codex, the video codec first and the audio codec. You can do that for the MPEG-4 and the WebM file as well if you know what uh, ones they're using and that's just another way to help the browser to understand um, what the video file uh, type is. Let's go ahead and run this in Firefox real quick and just make sure it's going to play in there okay and looks like it is and with the HTML5 video you can right click on the video itself go to save video as and you can see what video uh, it's using and that's using the WebM uh, video file. So. One other thing I want to show you on here, actually a couple things. Um, so you've got controls that you can add in there. If we want to autoplay, we can do autoplay. You just type that in and it'll automatically start playing. You can do loop, um, which will cause it to, of course, to repeat. And then you can do preload equals auto. And what that's going to do is the browser will start loading the video file as soon as the person goes to the page in the background. Uh, if the browser allows for that, um, some browsers like web uh, or sorry mobile browsers, you know, like an iPhone or something like that, usually won't do that because they're trying to save on bandwidth in case the person's running on 4G or something like that. So uh, setting that to auto is probably the best way to do it. You can set it to none, and that, there's another option. I think it's uh, meta tag or something like that. Um, anyway, I just set it to auto um, most of the time, and and uh, that way let the browser handle uh, how that's done. Um, <clears throat> the other thing that we can add in here, I showed you earlier, we, I have that uh, JPEG image, so we can do poster equals, and we have to make sure <clears throat> we tell it where it's located, so it's inside the images folder here. So images slash butterfly.jpg, and let's go ahead and save that and run it again. And now, oops, you know what, since I got it on autoplay, it just starts playing immediately. So let's just close or delete the autoplay option and run that again. And so now you can see when the video first loads up, uh, it's got this nice poster in the background of the butterfly. And then as soon as you start playing it, it's going to uh, play the, the video file. So all you have to do is just specify where your poster is located. Um, doesn't even have to be locally on your uh, website. It could be somewhere else uh, as long as you put the full URL in there. So thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. In the next uh, tutorial, I'm going to go into using um, the VideoJS player, which is a JavaScript player, and it's completely free, uh, in order to play back the videos because it gives you some other options, and it also has better compatibility in different browsers. Uh, feel free to, to come and uh, like us on Facebook and check out our website at claysimage.com. Until next time, thanks for watching.